many Americans have, uh, have, have got COVID uh, since, since we've had this virus, you know? North of half of Americans based on a Columbia University study that showed one in three had COVID at the end of last year, a year ago. So there's certainly a, certainly a, a, a sufficient sample size to, to do a study. And there's 57 to $58 billion. Some, I mean, you can use some of that money to do a study. Um, and then, of course, you know, you got 30-some thousand people who could conceivably do a study on a pretty fundamental uh, question. Now, I, I think I, I saw in your opening statement that you're actually doing a study on natural immunity. Is that right? That's right. With private funding, Johns Hopkins, my research team is doing a study. Okay, so uh, you, you, there's no grant money coming from CDC, NIH, something like that? No, sir. And are any of these 30-some thousand employees helping you with your study? No, sir. Now, other countries, if, if I understand, I think this was in your opening statement as well, other countries have done this study. Is that, is that correct? Uh, most of our learnings come from Israel and other countries, yes, sir. What have they found? Let's, let's start with the Israel study, if you could just refresh my memory. What did Israel find? The Israel study is the largest study done worldwide, and it found that natural immunity adjusted for age and comorbidity is 27 times more effective than vaccinated immunity. And they just put out um, December 5th another study, follow a follow up study again affirming similar results. So, Israel, natural immunity. You know what? I Jim Jordan's trying to get a study done because the NIH refuses to do a study on natural immunity. to run by Fauci people, their families. You know what? We just want to be safe. That's all. Thank you for your work, everybody. We appreciate it. Just like all those lines in the sky and the antennas in our face. We know it's all for our better. We appreciate it. Thank you for the work.